And I give you that. There. Let's try it again. Hello and welcome. I'm going to just do a little FB live today, Facebook live today, because I'm celebrating my new intro to oil painting course. Yay! I finally finished it. Oh my God. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. But the good news is that it's pretty good. And uh, us artsies don't like bragging that much, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It's a, I've put together all my knowledge from fine art history and other art courses and drawing courses and came up with a very different way to teach painting. And it works. Um, I'm Irene Duma. I'm an artist and a painter. And I didn't start oil painting or painting until about four years ago. And, and even though it was always my lifelong dream. And when I started painting, um, because I'd taken a drawing course way back when in New York, in New York, they said to draw big. I decided I was going to paint big. And I started painting big. And um, it was a disaster. <laughs> I quickly learned, oh my God, this is bad. And... A big painting like this, here's an, this is an early painting, which has some mistakes. Um, this takes a, about at least seven hours to paint something this big, five, you know, at least. And after spending, when you're just starting out, that many hours and coming up with something that is, is not very good at all, it's pretty demoralizing. So I quickly switched to painting small. Um, there was a 30-day challenge on the go by um, the, a podcast that I was listening to. And I said, I got to do this. I have to do it. If I'm going to, I'm a late bloomer. I have to be serious. I need to start taking, I need to paint. So I'm going to do 30 days. And I realized I can't, I can't paint seven hours a day. Um, so I decided to paint small. And it worked. And little did I know that actually there's a movement for learning called micro learning and bite sized learning that says that small every day is better than big sporadically. And, and let me tell you, this is how to do it. So within like the 14th or seventh day of painting every day, I could see improvements and it only takes 40 minutes to, you know, half an hour to an hour to paint something this small. So that's what my course is all about. It's the itty bitty mini intro to oil painting course. And I teach you how to oil paint using the Alla Prima method, which is a wet and, wet and wet method that the impressionists painted with, the post-impressionists, Van Gogh, all in one when you're, while your paint is still wet. And many paintings, because the principles of art are the same, whether you paint small or big, all that changes is your brush strokes. You move your arm um, and you need bigger brushes and more paint, but everything else still stays the same. So it's a lot more fun to paint small and have cute little results and work on um, trying new things. Every time, every time you finish one, you could try a new thing with the next one. And when you're just starting out, there's so many things to try. It's so exciting. And then to paint big and go, ooh, did I do that? And I'll tell you back to this one. I mean, I'd already, this was painted after my 30 day challenge, but I was trying something new. I was trying terpenoid natural and I was using it as a medium. Mediums are something that you add to paint. I talk all about this in my course to change the flow and texture. And I did not realize that it, this was not to be used as a medium. It's a brush cleaner. And boy, did it make things gummy. It's still kind of sticky, right? So, so it did not work. I did not know till later I was um, researching about, oh, you shouldn't use that. So um, you gotta, you, you got to keep trying things or you just won't know. And that's how it works. Try and then you will know. You'll know whether you like it or you don't. And both of those are really valid. So um, things that you can paint on when you're small. When I did the 30 day painting challenge, I was painting pastel and then switched to oil and you can paint on paper. So this is how I was doing it. Um, this is just watercolor paper that I painted with uh, two coats of gesso and gesso is a primer. You can buy it at any art supply store. It's, it's a primer to put on to your canvas before you put paint. 
And then I just um, had some double tape, double sticky tape there. And uh, I didn't, it's not really double. You can do it however you want. Like you put one facing up and one facing down. And because you're not it's very lightweight, just regular cardboard, you can paint on watercolor paper, which is very economic. Um, you don't even have to use the gesso, but it, the reason is you shouldn't paint oil paint on paper because it will it will eat through the paper so you can paint on paper um, you can even paint on cardboard to start my Adam my Lewis painted on cardboard I mean it's not gonna last forever but go for it you can put a couple of gessos you know a couple of coats on gesso and practice on cardboard this is watercolor paper I recommend in my course just to buy these canvas pads so it's canvas usually wrapped this is still in the plastic um, but it's regular canvas wrapped around usually cardboard and they're really economical these are I think under a dollar if you buy them in bulk so when you're practicing you don't need expensive canvases the expensive canvases are all about longevity when you get the good stuff it's all about thicker thicker canvas and better wood so it doesn't warp acid free so that your painting can be in a museum hundreds of years later but you don't need that to start because that's going to even hinder you when you're going to have something expensive you're like oh i don't want to ruin it so to start just use cheapo stuff cheapo to paint on uh, cheapo brushes are fine too because some of my favorite artists use house paint brushes some say, you know, some artists swear by expensive brushes, but not everybody. Now, the only place where you shouldn't skimp on is paint because cheap paint, you can't mix nice colors with and That's far too frustrating. But you can start with a student grade or a professional grade, whatever works better for you. Um, but to just start going, this is all you need. Let's paint small. You can finish one of these in half an hour to an hour and a half this size, maybe two hours, depending on, you know, if you're over painting, which I do all the time. Um, you can uh, also get, if these are on sale, canvas, pre-wrapped canvas. Um, so that's what I recommend because these are ready to go. It's canvas ready to go with gesso. You know, you can paint on other things. You can paint on wood. But you have to prep the wood first. You have to seal it and then just sew it. And it's just save that for later. And uh, you will want to try it though, because when you start painting on wood, it can be slipperier. So that's where you want to try things. Each painting surface is going to have a different texture, and that's going to affect the speed of your brush as as you paint, and or even the transparency. So. Um, so so that's so that's it so um here i just show you some other things just to try a couple of months ago i think just like six weeks ago i did this these are little itty bitty minis on oil paint um on, on paper uh these are five by five inches paper with gesso and um if because they're on paper they should be now framed behind glass but that's another thing but just to start to have fun to get used to things i recommend painting on cheap things just to get you started so you're not afraid so you can practice I would give yourself permission to paint the worst things possible to get used to painting to have fun to, to approach it the way kids do you know when kids play they're just playing and they're trying things and it's all about curiosity and excitement um another thing that i paint on now is uh on a, a, is just a unstretched canvas so i buy a, a roll of canvas um and i can cut it to any shape i want it's just just canvas right just regular cotton canvas and it's got gesso on one side and then I take this onto a masonite board and I paint onto that and that's all I wanted to say I just wanted to say um, that my course is open that uh, it's all about painting um, mini paintings fast so that you can fall fast in love with painting and try many things and in my course I also explain um, I give you about two years worth of things to try so that you can start exploring so that you have a 
really broad understanding of what the, what the tools of oil, what tools are available to oil painters so that you can try and, and see what way that you're going to organize them yourself, which is really fun. So a lot of what I found is when I started to paint, a lot of teachers, they've been painting so long and they tell you how they paint. These are the six colors or the 12 colors I use. This is the brush. And I'm like, that's fine. But when I go into a store, there's so many other things. Why did you choose these? And, and because my middle name is question, <laughs> question everything. <laughs> I needed to know. So um, the most important thing is to get pretty good quality paints, get a brand name like Windsor Newton or Gamblin student grade or pro grade is fine to start with. The what you paint on isn't as important to start because the chances are your first painting is not going to go into a museum. I mean, if you end up being Leonardo da Vinci, they'll want everything you ever did. But um, you don't need a um, super pro style things to paint on. And, and when it comes to brushes, they want to try them all. They are very expensive, beautiful brushes, usually an expensive brush is built to last, keeps its shape better. I bought some cheaper brushes and it just cracked right open. That was pretty disappointing. But I also love painting with cheaper brushes because their soles are all over the place and that gives you um, crazy textures. And that's um, one of the things that people love about oil painting. Uh, when you paint with oil, first of all, it's um, a good one here. That's, I don't want to keep showing my bad one. Um, there, there. Oh, here's a little one that I was painting yesterday. It doesn't have too many brush strokes because I was actually painting with a knife. I do like, you can paint with knives too. So many things to try. It's so fun. So, but you can uh, paint thick brush strokes and you can, uh, they keep their, um, uh, they can be nice and thick and your brush strokes remain in them, which is where the energy comes from. That's what people love about oil paint. First of all, it goes on kind of like butter feels like you're frosting the cake it's pretty pretty enjoyable beautiful colors and you get the energy and the brush strokes whereas a lot of the other um like acrylic for example use synthetic brush strokes and it ends up being smoother so that's what um is uh oil paint is all about and it drives to a beautiful hard finish so that you don't need to frame it this is a little one of the battery um and I like these little guys here. I paint right around the corner like that. And they don't take that long. And you can um, use these as studies for big ones, the ones that work out. You can use them for bigger ones. You can use them for little gifts. You can decorate your house. You can make gallery walls. It's just so fun. So that's it. I want, if you've ever wanted to try oil painting, my course, I'll put this up right now. My course is now available. You can get it at irenedumateachesart.com, either on the homepage or go to Intro to Oil. I'm celebrating right now with a super special introductory introductory price. And there are also some bonuses that you can get. And um, if you have any questions, <laughs> hi, Dorm. If you have any questions, uh, email me, um, comment, let me know. Um, I'm right here, just Facebook, DM me. Um, you can also email me, the my email, irene at irenduma.com. Um, and that's it. So happy painting. I, and that, ever since I've painted, now I just hike around everywhere, take pictures that I get to paint. And my life is so much better. So thank you very much. And I will probably be back tomorrow. So remember, draw big, but paint small. Because when you paint small, um, you can get better faster because it's all about quantity. Um, and you're going to be doing the same things over and over and over again. I actually have a black belt, a, a secondary in martial arts. So there, there's another art. And we just do the same things over and over. And we are just supposed to get better at them. And that's what's going to happen to you too. Um, painting is all about seeing and the more we look and practice, the better we are going to get at seeing things. And um, it's not just color. There's values and, and atmospheric perspective and drawings, all uh, kinds of things to see. And another beautiful thing about when you start to learn to paint and draw, when you go into museums, you're going to have a little bit more knowledge. And that makes your art appreciation even better. Um, and it's so beautiful. 
uh, you know, to see things. So that's our gift. That's our skill. And um, art makes us happy. Science has proven that. When we create things, it just fills us with joy. And after we have accomplishment rewards. And um, that's what I wish for you. So thank you very much. And I will see you again.